I recently uncovered an incredibly effective Japanese saving technique that has significantly enhanced my financial habits and provided profound insights into managing money efficiently. This method, which might initially sound like a dramatic claim, has indeed had a substantial impact on my financial management. My journey began during a trip to Japan, where I noticed the Japanese people's exceptional ability to save money. For example, in the 1960s, Japan's savings rate was an impressive 28.7%, while the U.S.'s was just 17%. This trend of higher savings has persisted over decades, reflecting Japan's robust financial discipline. Through conversations with locals, I discovered a straightforward yet powerful budgeting method called Kakebo, which translates to household financial ledger. Kakebo is revered for its simplicity and effectiveness. Developed in 1904 specifically for Japanese housewives, the system has been instrumental in transforming the financial habits of millions over its 119-year history. What sets Kakebo apart is its reliance on basic tools, a pen and paper, making it accessible and easy to use without the need for sophisticated apps or spreadsheets. To integrate Kakebo into your financial routine, start by acquiring a Kakebo planner. These planners can be purchased online or you can use a notebook if you prefer a more personalized approach. Alternatively, download a free Kakebo PDF template. The planner will assist you in tracking and categorizing your expenses and savings, providing a clear and organized way to manage your finances. At the beginning of the month, calculate your total monthly income. This includes your primary salary, any freelance work, side jobs or passive income sources like dividends or rental income. If you're not confident in your mathematical skills, use a calculator to ensure precision. Knowing your total income is crucial for setting a realistic budget and savings goal. Next, identify all your fixed expenses, regular costs that remain constant each month, such as rent or mortgage payments, utility bills, insurance premiums, and debt repayments. Fixed expenses are predictable and essential for maintaining your daily living standards. Accurate tracking of these costs ensures you account for all necessary expenditures in your budget. Decide on a realistic savings target for the month. This amount should be set aside after covering your fixed expenses. Start with a modest savings goal to avoid feeling overwhelmed. As you become more accustomed to the process, gradually increase your savings target. The key is to establish a habit of saving rather than aiming for unattainable goals from the outset. Subtract your fixed expenses and savings target from your total income to calculate your discretionary spending budget. This remaining amount is what you have available for non-essential expenses throughout the month. By clearly defining your available cash, you ensure that your spending aligns with your budget and savings goals. To manage your spending effectively, divide your available cash by the number of days in the month. This calculation provides a daily spending limit, helping you control your expenditures and stay within budget. Setting a daily limit helps prevent overspending and ensures that you have enough funds for the entire month. Kakebo categorizes expenses into four distinct types. Needs, which are essential expenses that you cannot avoid, such as groceries, rent, car payments, and student loans. Wants, which are non-essential items or luxuries, such as dining out, entertainment, or unnecessary shopping. Cultural expenses, which include costs related to cultural enrichment, such as books, museum visits, or movie tickets, and unexpected expenses, which are unplanned costs that arise suddenly, such as emergency medical bills or urgent home repairs. Categorizing expenses helps you understand where your money goes and make informed decisions about your spending habits. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful and want more content like this, comment more below. Let's keep going. Using the Kakebo Tracker, record every purchase and categorize it accordingly. Keeping track of your spending in real time is essential for effective budgeting. Documenting each expense helps you monitor your spending patterns and ensures that you stay within your budget. Writing expenses down on paper engages your brain's cognitive functions more effectively than digital methods. This active engagement strengthens your understanding and memory of financial habits. In a cashless society where transactions are often invisible, physically recording purchases helps maintain awareness and control over your spending. At the end of each month, review your total expenses by summing up all weekly expenditures. 
Compare this total with your budget and savings target. Analyze whether you achieved your savings goal and evaluate spending in each category, needs, wants, cultural, and unexpected expenses. This review process helps you identify spending patterns and uncover unexpected costs or areas of overspending. For example, you might discover that your TV package has increased in cost or that you're spending more on streaming services than necessary. Identifying these patterns allows you to make adjustments and optimize your budget. Based on your monthly review, adjust your budget to address any discrepancies. If you're spending too much on non-essential items, consider cutting back on discretionary expenses. Alternatively, you might find areas where you can save more effectively and allocate those savings towards your goals. At the end of each month, reflect on your financial situation by asking, how much money do I have? Assess your total available funds and compare them to your income and expenses. How much money would I like to save? Revisit your savings goals and determine if they are realistic and achievable. How much money am I spending? Analyze your spending habits and identify areas for improvement. How can I improve my budgeting and saving habits? Reflect on what worked well and what didn't and make adjustments for the next month. This reflection helps you track your progress and make necessary improvements to your budgeting strategy. Japanese saving habits are influenced by more than just kakebo. Two additional factors contribute to their impressive savings rates. One is the practice of receiving significant portions of annual income as bonuses paid out twice a year. This creates a mental separation between regular income and bonus income. People often view bonuses as extra funds, leading them to save or invest these amounts rather than spending them. If possible, negotiate with your employer to receive a larger portion of your salary as a bonus to leverage this mental accounting strategy. Another factor is the preference for using cash for transactions. Many Japanese people prefer cash due to its tangible nature, which makes it easier to track spending and stay within budget. While using credit cards can be beneficial for rewards, incorporating cash-like tracking into your budget can improve financial discipline. Recording all transactions, whether made with cash or credit, helps maintain awareness of your spending. Incorporating Kakebo into your routine involves starting small and gradually building good saving habits. Just like beginning a workout regimen with short sessions and increasing intensity over time, start with manageable savings goals and increase them as you become more comfortable with the process. Consistency is key to forming lasting financial habits. Embracing Kakebo may require changes in behavior and mindset. It involves shifting from a reactive approach to a proactive one, where you consciously track and manage your spending. This shift can lead to more thoughtful financial decisions and better control over your budget. If Kakebo or any other saving technique doesn't fully resonate with you, don't be discouraged. It's crucial to find a method that fits your financial mindset and goals. Even if you don't meet your savings target initially, Focus on progress and improvement. Gradual integration of new habits is often more sustainable than attempting drastic changes all at once. For practical examples of Kakebo in action, suppose your total monthly income is $3,000. You have fixed expenses totaling $1,800, rent, utilities, and debt payments, and decide on a savings target of $300. After subtracting these amounts, you have $900 remaining for discretionary spending. By dividing this amount by 30 days, you get a daily spending limit of $30. Tracking and categorizing each expense helps ensure that you stay within this limit. Another example is identifying spending patterns. After tracking your expenses for a few months, you notice that you're spending significantly on dining out. By reflecting on your spending, you realize that dining out is a major discretionary expense that exceeds your budget. Adjusting your budget and reducing dining out can help you save more effectively. Advanced strategies for effective budgeting include zero-based budgeting and automated savings. Incorporating zero-based budgeting alongside Kakebo involves allocating every dollar of your income to specific categories, including savings and debt repayment. It ensures that every cent is accounted for and helps in achieving precise financial goals. Setting up automatic transfers to your savings account ensures that you consistently save a portion of your income. This strategy ensures that your savings goals are prioritized and that you don't spend what you intended to save. Automating savings removes the temptation to use those funds for immediate expenses and helps build your savings effortlessly. 
Integrate expense tracking apps to record digital transactions and categorize them. Regularly review these entries in conjunction with your Kakebo records to ensure consistency and accuracy. Additionally, set specific financial goals and milestones to keep yourself motivated. Whether it's saving for a vacation, paying off debt, or building an emergency fund, having clear objectives can make the saving process more rewarding and focused. Celebrate reaching these milestones to reinforce positive financial behavior. Kakebo encourages mindful spending by making you reflect on each purchase. This practice can help break impulsive buying habits and promote more deliberate and thoughtful spending decisions. Consider how each purchase aligns with your long-term goals and values. Regular reflection on your spending habits and financial decisions plays a crucial role in improving your financial health. By evaluating what worked and what didn't each month, you gain valuable insights that can help you adjust your strategy and make more informed choices in the future. While Kakebo offers a structured approach, it's essential to remain flexible. Life circumstances and financial situations can change, so adapt your budget and savings goals as needed. Flexibility ensures that your budgeting system remains relevant and effective over time. Japanese culture places a strong emphasis on frugality, responsibility, and long-term planning. These cultural values influence financial behaviors and contribute to Japan's high savings rates. Understanding and adopting these values can enhance your own saving practices. In Japan, there's a cultural norm of saving for future security, which is reinforced through practices like Kekpo. The social expectation to be financially prudent encourages individuals to adopt disciplined saving habits. Embracing similar social norms within your own community can foster a culture of financial responsibility. When implementing Kakebo, consistency is crucial. Make it a habit to track your expenses daily and review your financial situation at the end of each month. Regular practice will help reinforce the budgeting process and improve your financial management skills. Establish a routine for managing your finances, such as setting aside a specific time each day or week to update your Kakebo records. Having a routine ensures that budgeting becomes a natural part of your daily life rather than a burdensome task. If you share financial responsibilities with a partner or family members, involve them in the Kakebo process. Open communication about budgeting and financial goals can help align everyone's spending habits and contribute to collective financial success. Addressing common challenges and adopting Kakebo is essential for long-term success. Overcoming resistance to new financial habits often involves starting with small steps and gradually building up. Celebrate small victories and remain patient as you adjust to the new system. Handling unexpected expenses can also be a challenge. To mitigate this, allocate a portion of your discretionary spending for unexpected costs. Having a buffer for unforeseen expenses helps you stay on track even when emergencies arise. Avoid striving for perfection in your budgeting efforts. The goal of Kakebo is to improve financial awareness and habits, not to achieve flawless budgeting. Focus on making progress and learning from your experiences rather than aiming for perfection. Leveraging Kakebo for financial growth involves using the insights gained from the system to inform your investment strategies. By understanding your spending patterns and savings capabilities, you can make more informed decisions about investing in assets that align with your long-term financial goals. Kekebo helps build a strong foundation for wealth creation by fostering disciplined saving and budgeting habits. Over time, these habits can lead to increased savings, reduced debt, and enhanced financial security, setting the stage for wealth accumulation. Complement Kakebo with other financial resources to enhance your financial literacy. Books, online courses, and financial advisory services can provide additional strategies and insights for managing and growing your wealth. Kakebo is a powerful and time-tested budgeting method that offers a straightforward approach to managing finances. By integrating this technique into your financial routine, you can gain better control over your spending, improve your savings habits, and achieve your financial goals. While Kakebo is deeply rooted in Japanese culture, its principles are universally applicable and can be adapted to fit your personal financial situation. Embracing Kakebo involves more than just tracking expenses. It's about developing a mindset of financial awareness and discipline. By starting with small, manageable changes and gradually building on them, you can create lasting financial habits that contribute to your overall financial well-being. 
Effective budgeting is an ongoing process that requires regular reflection, adjustment, and commitment. With the right tools and mindset, you can transform your financial habits and work towards achieving greater financial stability and growth. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. For more informative content on finance, entrepreneurship, and self-improvement, subscribe to our Voice of Wealth channel. We post new videos every other day to help you succeed in various aspects of life. Have a great day and see you in the next one.